today I'm going to work on building the power supplies on a separate cart instead of on the bridge like we used to have. This will be on a little cart that will roll up to the new bridge. We're trying to make the new bridge lighter. I'll be putting that together today. So let's watch. So a little bit of an update on our new power cart. Before we had everything on the bridge, all the transformers and the Revolution Train Engineer controllers, and uh, that's to control our three main lines here. Now what we use for power are these Bridgeworks Mag 15 rs Mark Sauerwald set these up specially for us for 20 amps each. Because we added a line, we were thinking we'd need to buy a new one, but Mark said no. These uh, Bridgeworks are powerful enough to handle two to three engines on a line, and he said there's no problem with powering two different lines. So this unit, I have two of the controllers on, and this unit, we're only running one of the controllers. So we do have plenty of power. We have a lot of extension cords, so I'm gonna make some hanging brackets. You'll see me making those in a bit and a couple of hanging brackets plus we'll have our cable here i'll be doing that later we are attempting to make our bridge lighter so that's why we're doing the cart with the power on it hey i'm not the only long-winded one around here you know So here I'm building supports to hold the two power packs in place, keep them from shifting side to side or back and forth. And now I'm making a bracket to hold the power outlets on and wiring in four GFI outlets. This bracket will hang right under the main handle of the cart. And next, we're on to running the wires for both the transformers, and then we're on to setting up a protective bin to hold the three Revolution Train Engineer controllers, the receivers. I wanted to make sure they are visible and yet protected, so this little bin does a good job. And next, we're wiring everything together, and then we'll do a test once we get everything double-checked and triple-checked. And next, it's on to building the power cord holders, which will be placed at the end of the cart, making them out of wood with a steel-reinforced bracket to make sure that the weight of the power cords don't... Uh, break the brackets off. So here is our cart so far. We have the uh, power transformers below. That of course is uh, Bridgeworks Mag 15 R's, two of them. And then we have uh, the train engineer unit inside, uh, all three of them inside of the uh, container. I built just recently, which you saw, the uh, holders to hold a couple of our power cords. We still have four more power cords. They'll probably go down in this area. So let's do a small tour of what our cart is like so far. This is our power cart for the new modules. First, let's start with the plugs themselves. I have a uh, male and a female here. And what happens is at each intersection of the railroad, you have a plug, whether it's a male or a female. We align them out so each module set up to the next module will have a male on one end, a female on the other, and they'll plug together. Well here, so we can set our cart up at any point around the railroad, you have a... Uh, the ability to plug the male and female in at the union of any two modules. Now, 
next step is we have our controllers. We have three main lines, so we have three controllers. Normally, we have a box that they can set in and keep coordinated. So we've got the outside, middle, and inside rails. And I have the other two wrapped up here. We're keeping them in a box that is stationary on top of the units themselves so that they won't fall out of this rack as it's being transported. Uh, then we have a couple of our tool trays that have all of our miscellaneous bolts, screws, uh, rail clamps, batteries, and down below we have some electrical, some bolts, nuts, and screws. These lock into each other and they stay in the cart. They will not pop out of the cart itself. Uh, we have a couple of track cleaners up front. And then we have clamps. We have all of our clamps that hold the modules together in these two cartons down here. And I'm going to be building a shelf that will be right about here, just above the top of uh, this tub. And things like these power cord uh, extension units will be sitting on this shelf up above. But that's our power cart so far. Rolls around very nicely. We can move it anywhere we need to, and we've got our power all set up. Well, I think I finally have our power cart finished. So we'll have a look here and see what you think of our power cart. So first and most important, this is just a little cart from uh, Harbor Freight. It's a standard little utility cart. It's a plastic PVC one. Nice wheel set on it. It rolls well. They, they're big wheels, so they're good. I just finished building this tray underneath, which will hold our spare power cables, power strips, and our extra plug units. So maybe I'm not done yet. The box that I had to hold our controllers would not fit under the table. But I found an alternative couple of boxes that will fit under there nicely. Well, there you have it. That's our power cart. And uh, I think it'll do good for us. We can hook it up at any of the joints where the uh, where two modules meet, anywhere around the layout, almost. Now let's go run some trains. So thank you all for joining us along today. Hope you're having a great day and uh, go out and run some trains. 
all. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you down the rails.